In this video we will show how to troubleshoot if you have the symptoms of no image or a blank screen, but you can see an image on the screen with a flashlight and you do have audio. This video applies to the following power supply slash LED board part number 0500-0605-0280. For Vizio TV models E500i dash A0, E500D A0, LATKORAP, and E550I A0, and panel number LC500DUG JFR1. LEDs are panel specific, so you must match the panel sticker number to be sure you have the correct replacement LEDs. In this video, the test that we are showing is checking the voltages. Testing the voltages will help to determine if the backlighting problem is being caused by the power supply slash LED board or the actual LEDs themselves. If you have not run the flashlight slash backlight test, please click the link in the video to the flashlight test. If there is not a link to click, please go to our channel and find the flashlight test video. After running the flashlight test, if you determine that you do have an image on the screen while using a flashlight and you have audio but no backlights, continue this troubleshooting video. In order to continue troubleshooting, you will need to have the skills, experience, and tools necessary to check voltages on the power supply slash LED board. It is necessary that you take the proper precautions to protect yourself as checking voltages can be dangerous on a TV that is powered on. I have begun by removing the screws and the back cover off my TV. We will be running the test on the power supply slash LED board here on the panel. We have highlighted this board in the video. As we take a closer look at the power supply slash LED board, here is the cable connection that runs from the power supply to the LEDs. I will be checking the voltages at this connection. The test points are broken into two separate groupings, LED1 and LED2. Most TV panels will have an even number of LED strips in them, which means the voltages should be identical at the test points. We have about 40 volts per strip that is in each group, so LED1 and LED2 should be around 120 volts each. My test points on the power supply at the LED connection will be labeled as LED1 plus and LED2 plus. Scenario 1 shows if everything is working perfectly on the TV. Before I begin testing the points, I will plug in my TV and hit the power button on the side to turn it on. I will start by testing LED 1 where I get 113 volts which is good. Next I will test LED 2 where I also get 113 volts which is good. Scenario 2 shows if you are getting lower than normal voltages. Before I begin testing the points, I will plug in my TV and hit the power button on the side to turn it on. I am testing the voltages and we are getting 67 volts, which is lower than our normal voltages. I am going to unplug the TV, then disconnect the LED cable and retest my points. After retesting, if my voltages stay around 67 volts, then you have a problem with the LEDs. If the voltages drop to zero, then you have a problem with the power supply board. In some TVs, when you have bad LEDs, the voltages will jump higher than the normal numbers. But with this TV panel and LEDs, the voltages decrease when the problem is with the LEDs. In scenario 3, we will review for voltages that show at zero. Before I begin testing the points, I will plug in my TV and hit the power button on the side to turn it on. I am testing the voltages and I am receiving voltages showing at zero or close to it. I am going to unplug the TV, then disconnect the LED cable and retest my points. After retesting, if my voltages stay around zero volts, then you have a problem with the power supply board. 
If the voltage is increased to around 67 volts, then you know you have a problem with the LEDs. If you decide to replace the LEDs in your TV, here are a few recommendations. It is recommended that the replacement be done by a trained professional, as during the replacement process there is a chance you could damage the TV panel. If you damage your TV panel, it is not fixable and your TV will no longer operate as normal. Always replace all of the LED strips in your TV at the same time. If one of them has shorted out, there is a high likelihood of another having the same problem. When searching for replacement LED strips, be sure to find the panel information for your TV and search using that information. Panel info can be located on a sticker on the panel or sometimes on a buffer board in the TV. LED strips are panel specific and not model specific. If you do need to replace the power supply board, be sure to find a replacement that matches your original part number on the board. Be sure to unplug your TV. You will need to start by removing all of the cables connected to the power supply. Then, remove all of the screws holding the board to the TV panel. After removing the screws, you should be able to lift the board from the TV panel. Then, put your replacement board on the panel and secure it using the screws and then reconnect all of the cables. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.